what's up guys? We've got Dave here. And I wanted to talk about parking your bike. You know, like when you, like say you ride your bike to a store. Um, personally, I like to park my bike up by the store. You know, like just like off to the side, you know, like, but up on the sidewalk, you know, like next to the spot, like where they put all the shopping carts, you know, something like that. And I try to do that for two reasons as much as I can, you know, like there's some times where like I'll ride up to the front of the store and there's really no place for my bike that would be out of the way. So therefore I don't do it. But so in those circumstances, I won't do it. But when I can, I like to. And I do that first of all, so that like I could find the shade, leave my bike in the shade rather than uh, leaving it in the sun. I don't like to leave my bike in the sun because then you come out, you know, it's like your dash is like all dark because the LCD, like it doesn't like sitting out in the sun. And over the years, if your bike sits in the sun for like a long, you know, like a lot, like a long period of time or whatever, um, your grips and your seat, you know, will like start to get messed up. They'll start to get all dried out. And, you know, like, if you store your bike outside, your tires will get all dried out, you know? You won't get the life out of your tires that you would be getting, like, if you put your bike in a garage every night type of thing. But, uh, anyway, back to parking it. Um, the other reason that I like to park my bike up by the store is because our bikes are small. And if you're parked in between a couple of cars, the chances of someone like coming in and like they just want to like go into the store and buy something real quick and then be gone and they come whipping into the parking lot way faster than they should and the first place that they see the first parking place that they see where they don't see the rear end of a car they just like turn the steering wheel and go whipping in there and they don't realize that your bike's there and they go whipping in so fast that they're like oh crap and they nail your back tire and it knocks your bike over and screws your bike up and they just like look around they're like oh man did anyone you know did anybody see me do that i hope not you know and then they just back out and they leave and then you come out from the store and your bike's all messed up so that is the second reason that I like to park my bike up by the store. Just get it out of the way of all of the cars so I don't have to uh, worry about it getting hit. And if it is like a really busy time of night, you know, and there's like a bunch of cars all parked there and there's like a spot, usually I won't park in a close spot. You know, like I'll park like way in the back of the parking lot, you know, where there's nobody, just so my bike's like out, like in the open on its own. So I figure that way at least like, you know, someone will like see it and not hit it because it's not, you know, it's not really like being hidden by those cars being parked in a normal place between a couple of cars. So I don't know, just that's what I do. That's what I think about. And let me know what you guys do. You know, like if you have to ride your bikes to the store, do you actually like the places like where you live, do you actually have like motorcycle parking? You know, because that would be ideal if they actually had like little tiny places like up by the store, you know, specifically like two or three spots just for bikes. But I've never seen a place like that before. But let me know what you got. Let me know what you do. And I will talk to you later. Have a great day.